it's me, and, uh, well, as you can tell by the title, this happened today. <laughs> it is October 29th, and I went and picked up some stuff um, at the King of Prussia pop-up store today. I went with AG Guy Doll, which is Justin, and he is one of my best online turned IRL friends and he's on Instagram so go follow him he's the best um so uh yeah we're gonna get into it the people there adore me okay so they gave me a catalog because they love me and I asked for one they're like oh you want one and I was like yeah can I have one and they were like okay so they gave it to me because they love me <laughs> I'm so nice and I, of course, picked up the Purchase of Purchase. This is one I absolutely had to have. This is the Purple Sparkle outfit. I'm so excited. This is $14 with every $50 you send. But I had a 20% off coupon that my amazing friend on Instagram gave me. So I used that today and got some money off my purchase. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much to uh, Forever Doll Lover, you need to follow him too. He's amazing um, from Instagram. I don't know if he has a YouTube or not. I should probably check that out. <laughs> but yeah, let's open this. I'm so super happy I got a couple things. I didn't get a lot. And I really shouldn't have gotten anything at all, but I was bad. So, oops. So, first thing is the dress. Oh, this is so cute. The dress and... It is so cute. I'm so happy to have this. It's um, purple, blue, and gray. Like, I don't know what this is. Like, heathered? Yeah, heathered. And then it has silver tinsel. I think it's actually sewn with tinsel. Maybe. It's either intertwined with tinsel that gives it the silvery effect, or it's, like, all tinsel. I think it might just be lined with tinsel. Well, the blue and purple look sparkly too. It might all be tinsel. It feels like tinsel. And then there is a zipper that is fabric. And uh, this is all elastic. And then the sleeves are elastic. And the zipper goes all the way down the front. So it completely, if it will work, will it work? And totally doesn't entirely open the way I wanted it to. And I'm not going to force it because I don't want it to break. It's supposed to go all the way down and then come apart. Um... I don't know if it's just mine and it's just stuck or if it doesn't actually open all the way. Actually, it nearly looks like it doesn't really open all the way. So it might not open all the way because you see that plastic piece. It's not allowing this thing to move. So I don't think it's supposed to go all the way. But there's a zipper down the front um, so you can leave it unzipped a little bit for a little bit of a v-neck if you want. Um, and the little zipper is has the same elastic on it. It's so cute. I love it. I don't know who I'm putting this on, but this is going on someone. No joke. Then we have the shirt. And I really i am so happy I got this purchase with purchase because I wanted it so bad. And I didn't think I'd be able to get it. Excuse me. And I got it. So I'm really happy. Um, it's an in-store only purchase with purchase. The online purchase with purchase is different. It's the pink dress um, with like a snowflakes on it. And then it comes with a scarf and a hat. But anywho, it's uh, actually striped, but it's like a knit, and it is pretty stretchy. And it's long sleeves, and it's a really pale purple. It's like a lilac color or lavender. It's more like a lavender color. And then it has Velcro all the way down the back to put on your doll. Fun fact, when they were displaying this outfit in the store, most of the mannequins have it so that this is the front and the zipper's in the back. And I find it the most hilarious thing ever because that's not how it's supposed to be worn. The zipper is supposed to be the front. I think it's so funny. And then last but certainly not least is the headband that I'm probably never going to use. I just wanted this shirt and the dress. Came with a headband. It is purple and metallic and... It's plastic, and it is bendy. Um, it looks kind of cheap, so I'm probably never going to use it. I like how the light shines off it, though. It's kind of cool. So we'll move this over here. And then, 
to go with that dress, um, I saw this paired up together in the store and I really liked how it looked. I wasn't planning on getting these shoes, but I got them because I liked how it looked with this display in the store. I got the two-toned sneakers from the Mix and Match line, so I have yet another AG shoe box. I think I have like five now. These were $14, and of course I had the 20% off coupon, so everything I got was at a discount. I love how it has little American Girl like wrapping paper, like a real shoe box. It's so cute. So you get the shoes. So it has a rubber sole with treading on the bottom, and it says American Girl made in China on the bottom. And it has a white rim that is all rubber. And we have um, like a lilac colored purple here on the toe. And then um, up by the laces and on the edge. And then the rest of the sneakers pink. They're stitching on the heel. And they're very cute and they're very well made. And you obviously get two of them. They're so super cute. Let me hold up the dress with one of them so you guys kind of see. It may not look like much now, but when I display it on a doll, you will understand. <laughs> yeah, so I got the shoes to go with it because I really liked the way it looked together. And then I also picked up something that I wanted for a little while ever since it came out. The Butterfly and Gem bracelet set. This retails for $8, and it just comes with two bracelets. And I really wanted it mainly for the butterfly one because it reminds me of Leah. And um, I, of course, didn't bring scissors in here because um, I'm stupid, apparently. I never bring scissors in. What are you guys talking about? Ashley doesn't prepare. There is no prep for me. It's called winging it. And I just completely tore the plastic, but I really don't care all that much. Wee! So there's still stuff stuck to it. I'm going to have to clip that. I think I have a nail clipper in here I can use. Because I don't want to stop in the middle of this video just to get a pair of scissors. Hashtag lazy. Okay. So here is the first bracelet, and this is the one I really wanted. It is a butterfly and it's got pink wings and it's really pretty and it's like a cuff and it's gold and it has cutouts on either side of the butterfly and it's just really pretty in general. Um, I really like it. I'm excited to put this on Leah whenever I get her for my birthday. And then is the other bracelet. And this one is purple, and it's stringy, kind of like a friendship bracelet. And it's got three little gems on it. We have a pink one, a silver, like, white one, and a blue one. And it's very cute, and it's got little strands because you, have, you can pull it to open it up so it's wide enough to put on your doll's wrist. And then you pull the strings to tighten it like so. So it's a really cute little bracelet, and anybody can wear this. It's really cute, and I'm glad that I broke down and bought the set. I didn't think I was going to buy, so we got some bracelets. And then I did get a couple of little, of the actual sets. I got two other things. It's a very small haul. Um, so this is the last thing that ended up going into my cart. And it is the Diabetes Care Kit. I've wanted this ever since it came out. And I saw it there and I kind of just picked it up against my will. This is what it comes with. It contains one storage case, one ID card, one medical bracelet, one glucose monitor, and lice... What device? Lancet? Lancet? I don't know. Lancet device. Uh, one glu glucose tablet container, one insulin pump, and one insulin pin. Pen. Excuse me, one insulin pen. The sticker on this is like really smudged, and some of the letters are not like full. And I'm also reading it on here. Uh, one log book, one sheet of stickers, and one adhesive disc. And this retails for $24. Comes with a lot for $24. Seriously, oh my gosh, it's unbelievable. Let's open this up. Oh my god, look at all the pieces. 
It comes with 20 pieces. I know I just said that, but like, it's kind of unbelievable. I'm gonna have to like pull this out one at a time because otherwise I'm gonna get overwhelmed. So here is the carrying case that you carry all the stuff in. Oh, this is adorable. It's a little wristlet. The wristlet part is the same thing as the lining and it's like a silver canvas material, which is actually like, it actually looks like the material Isabel's knee pants are made out of, if not the same exact fabric. So it's not soft, but it's not particularly coarse either. The zipper is a little silver star for American Girl and it opens up and you can put all of your little stuff inside for your doll. And on the one side it says American Girl and it has a cute little design with a star, a little swirly, and then more stars and stuff like that. And then there's a little pocket and it says this belongs to, and you can put your doll's name here. I typically don't write on these anymore because... I want them to belong to anyone. And you can also use this as a makeup case, honestly. It looks like it could be a makeup case, too. And then you turn it around, and it's just plain pink on the back side. And the material of, like, the pink stuff is kind of, like, rubbery. It reminds me of, like, a gym bag. So, it's very cute. We have our carry case. Oh, my goodness. I think this is the, um, I need to, like, use this. What is this? I think this is the glucose monitor. Yeah, this is the glucose monitor. This is incredible. I wanted to use a lot of this for hospital crap because um, I kind of I kind of have a problem when it comes to pretending that my dolls go to the hospital. Oops. Um, so it's this little tiny silver monitor, and there is a fake little pink button on the side that's a power button. It has a little power symbol on it. You guys probably can't see that. Yeah, it's not going to focus. There's a little power symbol. There's a clear tube that attaches, that has this little electrode. And there are stickers inside this set that um, you can stick to this so they, they can stick to your doll's skin. And there's a little digital screen. It says 104. And it has a little time. It says 11.30 a.m. And it has a battery. And there are two little buttons. I don't really know. Maybe it's to switch screens or something. And there's a tiny little, like, um, sil like clear thing here. I'm not very educated on diabetes, so I should probably look this stuff up so I know what I'm talking about when I give this to somebody. Because one of my dolls is going to be a diabetic. I just don't know who it is yet. <laughs> okay, here is the... Oh, crap. I know what this is. Oh, wait, no, this is the insulin pump, I think. And then I think this is the glucose monitor. Maybe? I honestly have no idea. I probably am getting some of this wrong. I apologize in advance. You probably, guys are probably watching this and cringing, going, Ashley, you should have done your research. This is horrible. Oh, and I forgot to mention, there is a teeny tiny little clip on the back so you can clip it to your doll's shirt or her pants or something. So then there's this. There is a little clip on the back, so again, you can hook it onto your doll's pants or her shirt or shirt pocket or something. You can just hook it on somewhere. I don't think it'll let her hold it, but you can try. Um, it has a little strip that you put the blood on after you dabbed it with your, pricked it with your finger and it will tell you your glucose level. So it's 104, again, which is the same thing this one is. Um, and there's a little star button in the middle, and there's two little left and right arrows. So I, again, need to read up on my research. And the front is silver. The button, oh, it also has a battery in the name. It says American Girl on the sticker. So very similar to the other one. Um, and the back is blue. The front is like a silver gray color. It's just supposed to look like metal, I guess. I don't know. Oh, and here's the... Ooh, I picked up two things at once. Here's the insulin pen. Eh. No, oh boy. Hashtag Ashley needs scissors. This is probably going to be one of my longer opening videos, and I didn't even get a lot. That's great. Good job, Ashley. So, this is the insulin pen. And the tip is blue, and it does go in when you put it on a surface. So it looks like you're actually poking your doll's skin. And it actually made indents on my hand. Oh, yeah, you can't see it. See, that's where the, the pen pricked me. It got my blood, you guys. Um, it 
is white on the main part of it. The tip is blue and the little cap other side thing is blue. It says made in China on it. It doesn't say American Girl on it. It's pretty basic. It's really little. Oh, and here are the glucose tablets. There's literally so much in here. I don't even know what I'm doing. Oh my god, there's a marker in here? Are you serious? Like what? <laughs> a doll size marker. Okay, here's the glucose tablets. They're orange flavored, it looks like. They're fast acting, and there's 10 tablets in this little bottle here. There's a fake lid. I don't think the lid comes off. Does the lid come off? No, the lid doesn't come off. It's just for decoration. Um, it's white, and then it has a white, uh, uh, orange sticker with, like, the glucose thing on it. Here is the medical bracelet that my, um, diabetes doll, whoever that is, is going to wear all the time, because people need to be aware. It is a little purple elastic, and it actually looks like it has ruffles on the side. And so it's stretchy. And it has a silver plate and it says type 1 diabetes, even though you can't read it, in purple. And it has two little purple flowers on either side. Actually, it's like, oh no, I lied. It's medical symbols that look like flowers on either side of it. They're little medical symbols. That's so cool. This is like an actual marker. Did it come with a marker? Um, it didn't say it came with a marker. Oh, it's, this is the insulin pen. Wait a minute, then what is that purple thing? I mean, that, that white thing that I just showed you guys. This is the insulin pen? It says insulin pen on it. American Girl insulin pen. I don't understand. Oh. So there's like a little thing here. Like I said, I have to read up on that. There's a little thing there. And there is a pink knob that turns. I don't really know what the purpose of it is. Oh, wait. It makes a clicking noise. You turn it. I don't really know what that means. There's like a tiny little ball point on the top. So maybe that's supposed to be a needle. No, it's disguised as a marker. It has like a little clip on the top. The cap is pink and then the end is pink. And the base is white. And then it's made in China on the back. I don't know what this is then. I have to look up some stuff. Oh, here we go. We have the Daily Diabetes Log. It's this American Girl. It has a bunch of little stars on it. On the back, there's more stars. This is made in China. Let's see what the inside looks like. Oh, cute! And on the inside, it has little daily logs. This is cute. And these are all days of the week. And then it has breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snack. And it tells you um, your dose and your reading of stuff. I have to do research. <laughs> so horrible. And then these are the stickers for the insulin pump, which I'm not taking out the package right now. But you stick them to the insulin pump. And then you stick the insulin pump that I just broke. Are you serious? Okay, it went back in. Um, you stick this electrode on your doll's belly, and it monitors her glucose levels. So it's supposed to be held like this. Or like this, maybe. I don't know. And then we have some stickers of band-aids with different little patterns on them. We got a pink one with some little stripes. This is American Girl. We got some a white background with green and pink hearts. This is American Girl. Uh, we have this really pretty rainbow scallop print. This is American Girl. Blue with pink, orange, no purple, orange, purple, yellow, and white stars. This is American Girl in white. We have purple. Yellow, green, blue, pink, and white plaid. It says American Girl on it. And we have this really pretty AG typical print. It actually reminds me of the Doodle backpack. And I think that's what it's called anyway. It says AG, and it says American Girl, and it's a bunch of peace signs and hearts and stars and swirls all over it and butterflies. Like typical stuff. And you have six of those. And then you have the instruction instruction thingy. It's actually more like an instruction page, honestly. And then it tells you how to use, put the stickers on the pump like that. So, it's pretty cool. 
It's a really cool set for $24. I 100% recommend this, and I'm going to get a ton of use out of it. Oh my gosh, are you kidding? Move this over here. And the last thing I got, oh, I forgot I had a trash pile going in my bag here. Put that all in there. Okay. The last thing I, what's this? Oh, that's my nail clipper that was in my bed. Wow! Good job, Ashley. Okay. Obviously, it's a truly me outfit. Do, 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 do. I got the skeleton outfit. I've wanted it ever since it came out, and it's $34. It contains a t-shirt, a pair of leggings, a skirt, a pair of gloves, a headband, and a pair of shoes. I'm so happy I got this, you guys. I've been wanting this ever since I saw it. I was like, I have to have it. Oh, my God. Whoops. Picked up two things at once. <laughs> One at a time. So here is the skirt. It is so cute. It is black, like shiny, glittery tulle. And it has a layer of hot pink tulle underneath. And I don't think you can wear it on its own because it's see-through. But... It is so super cute. And on the back, it has a little American Girl tag, and the waist is elastic. So cute. <gasps> the shirt is so cute. It's a black short sleeve t shirt, and the Velcro goes all the way down the back, like so. So you can easily get it on and off your doll. And there is a pink little stitched American Girl tag in the little corner. And we have a rib cage and a pink glittery heart with a little American Girl star in it. It's so cute. And the rib cage actually glows in the dark. So we're going to have to try that out on camera and see if it works. <laughs> so awesome. And then we have, wow. <laughs> and then we have the leggings, which are so cute. They're black and they have an elastic waist. And they have little leg bones and a little AG star on this leg next to the bone. And the star and these bones should glow in the dark as well. So this should be interesting. They are capri-length leggings. They're not full length. And then we have the little hand gloves with little hand skeletons. And there is a hole for the thumb and a hole, a hole for the rest of the fingers. It's very cute, and these glow in the dark, too. Anything with this white bone on it glows in the dark, supposedly. And then we get a headband. You get a lot in this outfit, which is why I kind of think that it's okay that it's $34. You get quite a bit with it. So I have another one of these plastic headbands. I have a blue one. I have a um, gold one. I have that metallic um purple one that I just opened. I now have this pink sparkly one and I think I have the I have a purple um purple and black leopard print one of these too from a long time ago from the Safari Sundress from 2011. So I have a lot of these now and I never use them because I hate them. But um it is pink and it is clear and it has little sparkles in it. Stretches. Just a basic headband. And then last but certainly not the least, we have the little shoes. And I don't have shoes like this yet, so I'm very happy that I have a pair of these shoes, even though I don't like them too much. They're not my favorite pair of shoes. So let me put this in. Wow! Did you guys see that? I just ripped it. And I'm not really caring about that anyway, but... Whatever, I can move this out of the way now that it's empty. We have two shoes, and they are jelly little Crocs, and they are bendable. And they are pink and glittery, just like the headband. So, but they're not the same material, though, because obviously that's not, like, rubbery. There are three little holes on the toe, and they're little Mary Janes. There are little treads on the bottom, which are so cute. And in the tread says American Girl, and it says Made in China. And, uh... I mean, they're a very basic pair of shoes. You could probably put them with something else, like a swimsuit or something. They're very cute, though. I like them. I'm glad that I got them. You always get two of these. So that was my haul. And um, I am going to dress some of my children in the new outfits I got, which is really exciting. I don't know who I'm putting in what, but I know that Mia is not getting an outfit change, so you will not be seeing her today. 
I'm trying to incorporate more of my girls that you guys don't see every day because you guys seem to love that. So Krissa was in another video. It's not going to be Krissa. And Caroline was in a very recent video, so it's not going to be Caroline. So, and it's not going to be Mia. I already said it's not going to be Mia. So there are a ton more girls for you to pick from when I put my stuff on the girls. So you guys can take a guess and I'll be back. Hey guys, I'm back and I have the skeleton outfit on Nikki. Yay! So it fits really well. I had a really easy time putting it on. This glove, the left glove, was really easy for me to get on. I had no issues with it. And then I had a little bit of a struggle getting the right glove on because like the this part, like the outside wrist part, was like not as stretchy as this one for some reason on this glove. I mean, I don't really know. Oh, and uh, excuse their messy hair in advance because I have not had time to do some hairstyling. So, and I just dressed them, so their hair is kind of messy. But anywho, we have the headband in, and I used it to kind of keep that thing back from her face, which is clever. <laughs> and it's just super cute. I really, really like it, and um, it looks really good on. And here are the shoes, the little flats, and the leggings go just past the knee. They're, it's just a really cute outfit. I really like it, and the skirt is definitely see-through, but I actually like it with the leggings because you can actually just see the bones, but, like, in general, you can't really wear it alone unless you put, like, shorts or something underneath it, um, like black shorts. So, yes, it's cute, but, and I like that it's see-through, but at the same time, I don't. Um, I actually am going to turn the light off and see if it glows in the dark. And I'm not going to look at her until I get back to my spot. Because I want you guys to hear my reaction. You won't be able to see anything. Well, technically, it doesn't count because the computer is all lit up. Okay, hold on. I have to move out of the light of the computer. It does kind of glow in the dark. <gasps> That's so cool. I don't think I can show it on like camera unless I take a picture of it. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to take a picture and insert it. That's so cool though. It does glow in the dark. It's that's it's so cool I cannot even believe it that's such a unique touch and you get all of this for $34 and it glows in the dark like okay <laughs> what what did we do to get so lucky AG like seriously I can't even believe it she just looks incredible and then we have Sage wearing the purchase with purchase um, she's also wearing one of the bracelets I got. I didn't put the gold bracelet on anybody because it didn't match with Nikki's outfit. Um, I will try it on Sage while we're here, but this is how I styled her. She does have the headband in, which is coming out. <laughs> um, as soon as I'm done this, because I hate it. It fits fine. I just hate how cheap it looks. Um, it's so cute, and she looks incredible in purple, so it kind of was a no-brainer to me when I was thinking about it. I was like, Sage, Sage is going to be the one to wear this, um, and she is going to keep it on for a while, so it looks really cute. The shirt fits good. The dress fits good. It's a little short, though. Like, I'm kind of surprised. Like, I kind of had to pull it down a little bit, because at first, like, I could see her underwear, and I was like, whoa, no, there's no way. So, I mean, it's it's a close call there for Miss Sage. But the zipper, you can, like, actually, like, have it like this if you want. Have it, like, a little unzipped. You can have it a lot unzipped. You can have it not not zipped, not unzipped at all. You can have it all the way zipped up. You can have maybe the teeniest little V like that. Actually, I think I like it like that. The teeny little V there. Just the tiniest little V. It's super cute. This is what the back looks like. And here are the, wow, here are the new shoes that I got. They're cute. They look very good with the dress, see? Like as a whole, it looks really cute. I like it. I really like it. She looks super cute. And the bracelet looks perfect with it, so she's going to wear this too. And you can pull the drawstrings out, and I pulled them back in when I got it on her. Fits great. 
very cute. And we'll also try on the butterfly cuff while we're here, but she's not going to keep that on. So here's the cuff. You just have to kind of push it. Oh, there we go. So now it's on. This is what it looks like on. It's very cute. It's actually a little bulky. Just a little. The butterfly part and like this at its widest is a little bulky. But it's cute. It's very cute. I'm trying to turn it so you guys can see the inside. There you go. It's a very cute thing. You can mix and match it with a lot. You can take this back off now. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's very cute. I really love um, this purchase of the purchase, and I'm really glad that I got it. Um, I have not tested out any of the diabetes stuff here. Hold some stuff up in general size to them. She's holding the book. Say, so, do you want to be a diabetic? Yeah, I, I don't think you do. <laughs> She's like, seriously. Oh, so, okay, this little thing does allow her to hold the little monitor thingy. So if you stick it on her finger, she can hold it. So there's that. Glucose tablets. This pen. And the bracelet that is also purple. They so just like, but I'm not a diabetic. Well, do you want to be a diabetic? She's like, not really. Here's the bracelet. Shiny. Fits perfectly. It's a very cute set. I really like it. Why do I feel like stuff fell out of my box? Did anything fall out of my diabetes box? No? It's not looking like anything did, but I feel like something did anyway. I don't know. And then, oh, here's the little carry case. It's like the perfect size. It really is. It's like the perfect little size for like a makeup case or in this case a diabetes carry case. You can put all your diabetes needs in here. We'll put our bracelet in here. We'll put our glucose tablets in here. Our uh, insulin pen in there. Maybe this is an EpiPen type thing. Um, we can fit our diabetes log in there. We can fit this monitor in there. Oh my god, we're fitting everything in there. And then there's the insulin pump. It fits in there. It all fits inside the carry case. It's kind of impressive. Like, seriously. Look, Sage, you can be a diabetic. It matches your outfit. No. <laughs> okay, she's leaving. Because she's mad that I keep saying she should be a diabetic. All right, you guys. That is the end of this video. Wow, Nikki fell over. That's, that's really depressing. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, tell me what you think about what I got and what your favorite item is. If I had to pick, that would actually be really hard. <laughs> um, I think I'd probably have to pick the purchase of purchase, honestly, because I really, really, really wanted this. And I am including the shoes in with the purchase of purchase because they look really good with the shoes. It looks really good with the purchase with purchase outfit. So the purchase with purchase is probably my favorite in the shoes, too. So that's probably what I have to say. But I also really, really like the bracelet set that I got. I got I like everything that I got. That's why I got it. I'm just very excited that I was able to get the purchase of purchase because I didn't think I'd be able to get it. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.